Hey guys, um, finally, uh, especially for my buddy John, this is the long-awaited um, custodian video. Uh, we got this pretty early in the season, and um, uh, what a difference. Uh, we had an old Phoenix pad machine. Uh, scores were good with that, but since we got this, the scores really went through the roof. We've had, just off the top of my head, six six sets over 840 this year uh i had an 858 myself as well as one other guy uh, so the uh the scores have been just absolutely ridiculous um i figured i would get into detail a little bit about for the guys that that, that know lane machines and everything but also just a basic overview for people that might not know how an an oiling machine works um from the front of the machine, you can see there's four little jets there. That's where uh, the stripper sprays out in front to strip any dirt on dirt and old oil off the lane. Um, I open this top cover here in the front. You got your waste tank. That's where all the old stripper and whatever it takes up goes. Um, this is just line duster paper. Uh, just, just used to clean the lanes back when we used to drag the lanes all the time that's pretty much what we used doesn't really bother the oil much and just gets all the dust and dirt out of it um, this right here this red bar that's the squeegee uh, probably can't do it while it's sitting down but there's two squeegee blades on it and it just pretty much scrapes the lane behind it and gets all the garbage off the lane and uh, it's all hooked up. There's a va uh, vacuum motor, which causes this tank to be a vacuum and suck everything into it. And you just empty it when you're done. Uh, it's pretty much pretty much it for the front of it. And everything is raised and lowered by the all the controls. We'll get back to that in a second. So that's pretty much it for the front. Now all the oiling takes place in the rear, back here. It's like a double folding little area here. Got your vacuum motor over there. All your relays, electronics, your main contactor, that's your drive motor. Bunch of fuses. Um, this mechanism right here, this is the oil head. This is where the oil comes out of. And uh, it, it sprays. It's basically, if you think of it, it's like a it's like a big inkjet printer pretty much. It pretty much just paints it paints oil. There's a valve in there, it turns on and off, so it puts oil where you want and not where you if you don't want oil, you know, the valve will be closed. If you do it'll be open. And you can program all that. Uh a little more technical stuff. This it's an older machine, but we bought it refurbished and uh it has all the newer upgrades in it. Down here this doesn't really look like much, but this is actually a brush. This is called a transfer brush. This is one of the newer things that they're doing. There used to be a roller there. And uh, this is pretty much standard every, in every lane machine. This is the buffer brush. This is what lowers and put, actually puts the oil down on the lane. So uh, that's a quick overview. Uh, underneath here, you've got your oil tank here, your stripper tank here. Make sure these are always full. Uh, you have your oil pump valve over there to help uh, control the pressure and whatever kind of an output stream you want. This is at uh, 50 because we have uh, older lanes here. These They're synthetics but they were installed in 1983 so they have a lot of play on them. Uh, they hook a lot but the scores are still really good. And you just have your small keypad here, oil pressure gauge, all that kind of stuff. Nothing, Nothing too crazy. That's uh, that's an overview. This this like I said, it's an older machine, but it was refurbished and has all the newer upgrades: the transfer brush instead of the roller, the uh, the reverse buffer drop, so you can drop the oil brush at a different spot instead of just at the end of the pattern. This is great for tweaking, and yes, our phthalates do work here. I'll just plug this in. Let's see the it's run up a little bit. It's run a little high. It's a little chilly here today. Um, it's pretty easy. Like you see, uh, just try to get it. I don't know. 
how well it'll come out, but I'll just put a, put the camera on the approach and run a lane. You'll see the oil head will move back and forth, the stripper will spray. Looks like I'll probably follow it a little bit on the way down, but Let's see it'll find the brush up. Get it down in front of it. Spray the stripper out. Strips and oils on the way down, and then it oils again on the way back. You can see it's a little funky looking, but it'll be nice and smooth after the machine is done. And we just run it down, it'll run all the way down. Go through the pins, clean the pin deck off, that kind of stuff. Uh, that's pretty much it for this. Uh, if there's any other questions, just let me know. Uh, hopefully I'll have a couple other videos to go up with this one tonight. I'll see you guys soon. Alright, bye-bye.